Oh, what's wrong, Naomi? Gosh, you nearly pushed me down there. Oh, sorry, Psycho. Look, look over there. Aren't those bones like people bones? Psycho, calm down. I'm, I'm, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, let me look, um, a bit more closely. Perhaps I would just seen things. Perhaps it's, uh, okay, I'm one of those, like, little fake ones, you know, like the ones for Halloween. <laughs> uh, maybe they're not real. But Naomi, they look real. Uh, calm down, Psycho, calm down. Now. I'm pretty sure that they're probably fake. <laughs> Please be fake. Oh, no, they're real. They are somebody's bones. <laughs> Oh, Psycho, don't scream like that in my ear. Seriously, Psycho, you're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, Naomi. No, I, don't, I just don't like it here. You too. You just say some... Oh, my good grief, it is an apparition. It is Casper. Naomi, Casper's a friendly ghost. I know. Do you think this one possibly is Casper? Psycho. What have you been watching lately? I heard a bit too many cartoons. Oh, Psycho. What? Uh, maybe if we, uh, maybe if we pray, it might be Casper. Oh, Psycho, I'm pretty sure this is not Casper. You two are new victims, are you not? Oh God, the ghost speaks. A, a, a ghost, and he speaks perfect English. Oh, 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 who are you? I was brought here against my will and was confined just like you. And I could say the same thing about you two having perfect English. Though you seem to stutter at the mention of a ghost. Confined? What? Confined? Do, do you mean there is no way out? I'm afraid not. This school exists in reality all of its own, cut off from the world you know. So, why have we been brought here then? Oh, uh, they brought you. They constantly bring new victims into the school, more and more, all the time. Sinless innocence, one after another. This is a curse, multidimensional nexus, multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful vengeful spirit. Uh, closed spaces, or perhaps closed spaces. Naomi? You're a psycho. What is he talking about? I believe he's trying to tell us where we are, Psycho. Naomi? Yes? I'm scared. So am I. We're talking to a ghost. You, and we as well, are unlucky victims of the unescapable abduction. Oh god, we've been abducted. Sounds like aliens. Oh, don't be daft, Psycho. I'm pretty sure it's not aliens. Close spaces. Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones who have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everyone else is here too? That I was right that it is, but most likely possible they also fell down into the hole but just went in the classroom with us? Are they okay, I wonder? I'm not alright, I've got a sprain, so I doubt they are. So our friends are in the school too! I don't know the exact number, but I do know the others were pulled into the space at the same time as you. They're definitely in the school. Oh my god, that's such good news, Naomi. They're here! We're not alone! Oh yes, it's definitely a... A little bit of silver lining on a cloud net, uh, Psycho, my dear. That would mean technically that our friends are also trapped here. Yay! That means my seat is here too. I bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? I have no idea what you're on about, Psycho. Say the weirdest things, even in the most dire situations. However, you can't meet them. What? Tell about bursting our bubble before it's even blown up. They're definitely in the school, but the spaces they occupy are different from the ones we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering these spaces or bring them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible, but at least you'll be able to die together. Die together? Oh, oh god! Is there no way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits. Right? Who are they? And why have they taken us? What have we ever done to them? Who am I going to complain to about the state of this place? Where's the janitor? 
I don't know neither the motive or our captors or where the janitor is. No means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some method you can at least live out your days together in the same space in battle and it's a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out. Don't end up like us. No, me. The door opened. Well, that's kind of rude. They didn't even knock. No! Wait, did he just scream like a ghost? Ah! Naomi! It's a ghost! Naomi, run! We have to get out of here! No! Okay, Psycho, I totally agree. I'm sorry we interrupted you. Um, goodbye. Are you alright, Psycho? Even though we ran a short distance, I'm out of breath. Yeah, but what the hell was that? A, a trail spirit of some kind? It, it did kind of glow. It's good to know that we can still see things glowing in the dark. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? They were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. Hopefully the last time. So you saw it too, right? Little glowing blue ball of light. And the girl. Yeah, when we were talking to it. I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no way out of for us. Like you're not, we're stuck in here. It, it'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Let's be happy. I'm so, I'm so glad I got you with me, Psycho. I, I don't know how to cope by myself. I probably break down of this going back in here. Naomi, I don't want to Naomi, do we have to go back in here? Yes, I do we have to. We have to see this poor poor Help me. Help me. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Minnesota Mr. Brotherhood Senior High School, uh, classroom three four, Yorker T Shinohara. That's odd. He has the same last name as you, Psycho. He does, doesn't he? That's kind of odd and it's kind of strange. Well, let's see it. What? What's there? Was there also a candle here? I don't think so, but it does look awfully familiar. How much saving? What exactly is saving, Naomi? Oh, don't you worry your little pretty head about anything, my little dear. It's important to save. Let's have a look around this room. Let's see. Heavenly host Elmer, if you notice to all five students, I am going to kill you. Well, at least it's like up son and tells you straight away. What, what the heck is this? This was here before, and there's a very bad doodling and drawing. What is like this supposed to be? I don't know, but it does appear to be just a picture, right? Of some fellow there with what appears to be a scissors, and I believe um, uh, sorry, three white children and one red one. I could be wrong. But let's have a look in this cabinet, shall we? What is in here? The cells are filled and overflowing with long black hair. The cells are filled with overflowing... Oh my good grief! Oh my goodness, Saku, did you see that? Um, the scary face in the window? No, I didn't see a thing. <laughs> no, nothing at all. Saku did not see anything. Oh good, you did not see that either. Naomi? Yes, Saiko? Can we get out of this room now? I'd much rather not stay in this room where we just saw ghosts. I'm in full agreement with you, my dear. Full agreement with you. Come along. Let us leave. Oh, look, there's another notice. No running in the halls. Any students caught running will be severely disciplined. Oh, okay. Oh, the door's locked. What's that sound? I can't hear flies. Me too, Psycho. That's very strange. I wonder what on the earth it could be. 